a while. <laughs> that really got me, didn't it? Oh, right. Right, guys, what's up? How's everyone doing? So, literally, I was chilling like a Marvel North African based in North London villain. I'm about to review the new two premiere episodes of Marvel's Literally Inhumans, which aired on the 29th of September. And my friend called me, the production company said he's got his camera, um, but he can't do any type of filming or shooting due to the fact that he left his uh, memory card at home. So, the Benassi, in other words, he left his memory card at home, got his camera, so he can't film or anything. So as always, the Benassi Corporation comes to save the day and we have a memory card for him. So let's give it to him. Yes. So the Benassi Corporation, as always, being uh, myself, literally uh, has come here to save the day. Um, so literally, I'm going to give the production company, that's right, that memory card that will save the day for their production. Right, so obviously the Benassi Corporation saved the day by giving the media, so the production company, that vital memory card that will make their production and their camera abilities work again. Um, so yeah, literally that's what I'm here to do. Um, but overall, I'm really enjoying my time here. If you guys don't know where I am, I'm literally in uh, Trafalgar Square, as you guys can see. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll let you guys see. One second. It says Trafalgar Square. I always, I always come here, but I prefer coming here at night time um, just because the lights come on literally here. Apologies for the, uh, for the wind that you guys are hearing right now, but I still need to get a wind cap for my uh, lav mic, so I'm waiting for it to come in the post. It hasn't arrived yet. Um, that's pretty much Trafalgar Square, you know? Seriously, I think Uber should cut a deal with me, man, and partnership with me. You know what I'm saying? Uber Nasi. Uber and Banasi. That's it, Uber Nasi. I like it. Oh my gosh, Uber Nasi. That's me. Right, guys, so literally I'm outside the Lego store, which is right behind me. Wait, there we go. So literally I was going to go in there and check out basically the... Uh, the Lego London bus I wanted to pretty much, uh, well, I was thinking of buying, but the store's closed. So that saves me 109 pounds. Yes, 109 pounds for a Lego bus, but it's so cool. Like I bought the, the smaller version, which is only exclusive to the Lego store. Right, so I forgot today's Sunday, all the stores closed late, early, sorry. So this is the Lego bus I wanted to really get. Uh, it looks really cool, really nice. I got the mini one a while ago, but I'm contemplating buying this big one, building it. 109 pounds, it looks pretty nice. So, can I justify spending 109 pounds? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I think I will end up copying that bus for 109 pounds. There's only one problem, man. There's only one, one major problem. And I don't have enough space in my house to literally, wow, the wind, the wind, to, um, and the rain, to literally to build this Lego uh, bus. It's literally about, well, I can't show you because I don't have my other hand with me. What I do is holding the phone. <laughs> That wasn't funny. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. So finally got home, tired, shattered, literally came home, had, there was no food, had to go out, grab some food, waited about five, ten minutes for the food to digest, had some nice fish and uh, rice. It was really, really cool. Had that, it's got that little uh, coconut taste to it. Ow! Sorry. My phone keeps vibrating like left, right, and said, so, uh, literally shout out to the crew, like just commenting on my Instagram and one really loving this uh, photo right here that I posted today um, by the man himself. Uh, sorry. Sorry, a picture of the man himself, Hugh Jackman. Oh man, Logan, it's a very, very cool painting. Check it out. Oh, right. Really, really love it. One more look. Ooh. So, literally, literally, literally. Um, New York Comic Con is. Pretty much this week, um, on the 5th of October, I believe. So um, I'm doing a little throwback from about two years ago on Comic-Con, where a friend of mine literally got me a gold um, Funko Pop vinyl of the man himself, Stan the Man Lee. Excelsior! I love Stan, he's so cool. So this is one that I literally got. Um, this was actually limited, so I was, it was, I was surprised that she, she actually got it for me. 
I do want to get the silver one, um, but it's really hard to find and it's really, really expensive. Here's a closer view at Standerman and Lee. Uh, let me, for let me take it out of the box. Um, I'm actually, when I get my own place, I'm going to start displaying all my collectibles. Um, it's very, very heavy compared to literally the, um, has a weight, a width, weight, it weighs, has a width, has a weight to it compared to the other um, Funko Pop vinyls. So here we go, check him out. There we go. Look at that, pretty cool. What's really cool is he has a very, very, he has a cape uh, behind him, which is really, really amazing. Um, but yeah, I literally just wanted to share that with you guys because it's one of my favorite pops in my collection. I love it, it's so, so cool. It's just so, so nice, but it's nice to actually have a collectible of the, of the, of the man himself, Stan the Man Lee. I did want to get the silver one, but like I said, um, I had a choice to get it, but I picked the gold one over the silver one because I was short of cash. But hopefully I'll pick up the silver one one way or the other. Anyway, um, so that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this vlog because I have because it's, it's moi, me, no, no, not you. Me. What about me? No, only me. Trust me. Trust me. Hope you guys have enjoyed um, this vlog because I have. Click, subscribe, like, tag, share with your friends, and let me know. Let me know what you guys um, thought of this vlog. Peace.